student welcome to my channel learn more maths uh, today we are going to solve a problem from 6.4 exercise uh, the problems are related to the geometric progression uh, uh, see here what he is asking in the first problem uh, in which of the following situations uh, does the list of numbers involved is in the form of a gp so gp is what geometric progression so student in the first two problem there are three bits uh, this is the first bit in the first problem first one the salary of Shermila when her salary is rupees 5 lakh uh, for the first year and expected to receive yearly increase of 10 percent so student here he has given a situation he is asking to find whether the uh, list of numbers involved in the given situation form and uh, form a geometric progression or not he is asking so first we have to write the list of uh, numbers involved in the situation so from the situation we have to write the list of numbers so see here he is saying that uh, a salary of Sermila he has given so see here uh, salary of Shermila for the first year for the uh, first year is equal to uh, rupees 5 lakh so here uh, for the second year 10% uh, increment he has given so her salary for the second year uh, for the second year uh, is equal to so 5 lakh here first year is 5 lakh 10 percent means 50,000 so 5 lakh plus 50,000 it becomes a uh, uh, 5 lakh 50,000 5 lakh 50,000 so this is the salary of Sermila for second year so her salary for third year so for third year it becomes uh, so see here uh, again we have to write uh, this is the salary of a uh, second year 5 lakh 50 thousand again for third year 10 percent increment added uh, so see here uh, 5 lakh 50 thousand 10 percent is 55 thousand so 5 lakh 50 thousand plus 55 thousand it becomes uh, uh, 6 lakh 5 thousand 6 lakh 5 thousand so and so on so like this and so on therefore the list of uh, numbers uh, the list of numbers means the list of uh, her salaries so we have to write the list of her salaries so what is the list uh, for first second and third year for first year first second comma third years so we have to write so for the first year her salary is rupees 5 lakh and the second year her salary is rupees 5 lakh 50 thousand and the third year her salary is rupees 6 lakh 5 thousand and so on so now we have to write the list of numbers involved in the given situation so this is very important student so at least we require at least three numbers so here there are three numbers now we have to find whether it forms a geometric progression or not how can we decide so by finding the common ratio we can decide uh, whether it forms a geometric progression or not if the common ratio is equal we can say it forms a GP otherwise uh, it doesn't form a GP so now we have to find the geometric progress a uh, common ratio of the uh, list of numbers so here it is a1 a2 a3 so common ratio how can we find or is equal to or is equal to so see here uh, common ratio 
r is equal to first you have to find a2 by a1 so a2 is how much 5 lakh 50 thousand so 5 lakh 50 thousand are divided by a1 is how much 5 lakh 5 lakhs so here four zeros four zeros gets cancelled so five tens are 50 five 11s are 55 so that implies r is equal to a2 by a1 is equal to 11 by 10 so which is equal to 1.1 11 by 10 is nothing but 1.1 so in the same way uh, a3 by a2 you have to find a3 by a2 or is equal to a3 how much 6 lakh 5 thousand divided by 5 lakh 50 thousand 5 lakh 50 thousand so see here uh, three zeros and three zeros gets cancelled again we can cancel by uh, here uh, 11 so see here uh, 11 fives are uh, 55 and 0 here also 11 fives are 55 5 5 is there again 11 fives are 55 so we can cancel again 11 fives uh, see here uh, uh, sorry 5 11 5 11 and 5 10 so we have 11 by 10 again it is also 1.1 so here we can say r is equal to a2 by a1 is equal to a3 by a2 is equal to 1.1 therefore it forms a gp it forms a gp that is geometric progression it forms a geometric progression so like this we can uh, uh, solve student uh, these uh, situations are very important for four marks problems uh, he asks every time he gives a situation and uh, he asks uh, so for the given situation you have to write the list of numbers involved in the given situation this step is very very important if you write the list of numbers uh, you can find very easily so whether it forms a, a geometric progression or not so that meet in the next class with uh, another problem this is the second bit in the first problem already we have completed first one this is second bit see here a number of bricks needed to make each step if the staircase has a total 30 steps uh, provided that bottom step needs 100 bricks and each successive step needs two bricks less than the previous step so here uh, uh, this is the given situation student uh, using the given situation we have to write the list of numbers involved in the given situation so then after we have to say whether it form a gp or not so see here how can we write so for constructing staircase first step needs 100 so next second needs 2 less than the first one that is 100 minus 2 is 98 next third one needs 98 minus 2 96 fourth one needs 96 minus 2 94 and so on so the list of numbers involved see here how can we write up solution a total bricks needed for the first step So total bricks needed for the first step as for the second step equal to or for the second step. So for the second step 2 less than uh, that is 100 minus 2 that is 98 and for the third step for the third step is equal to uh, 98 minus 2 uh, 96 so these are the uh, numbers so these are the bricks needed to construct first second and third step so just we have to write a list of numbers involved therefore a list of uh, numbers involved in the situation 
so what are the list of numbers 100 comma 98 comma 96 and so on so these are the list of numbers involved in the given situation so it is very clear each term is a non-zero so next uh, we have to check the common ratio so here common ratio or is equal to first uh, a2 by a1 so a2 is 98 divided by a1 is 100 98 divided by 100 so 2 is the common factor 249s are 98 250s are 100 we can get 49 by 50 so this is a2 by a1 so in the same way we have to find a3 by a2 a3 by a2 is equal to a3 is 96 a2 is 98 a3 is 96 a2 is 98 again 2 is the common factors 248 sir 96 to 49 sir 98 so we can get 48 by 49 so see here uh, therefore a2 by a1 is not equal to a3 by a2 so here a2 by a1 is not equal to a3 by a2 therefore it doesn't form a ZP. It doesn't form a ZP. So, like this, we can find whether it forms a GP or not. So, this is second bit in the first problem, student. Next, this we have to third, third problem bit. in the third bit in the first problem, student. See here uh, what he has given perimeter of each triangle when the midpoints of sides of an equilateral triangle whose side is 24 centimeter or joined uh, to form another triangle whose midpoints in turn are joined to form still another triangle and the process continues indefinitely so see here here it is an equilateral triangle the uh, length of uh, each side is 24 centimeters so the midpoints of an equilateral triangle are joined to form another equilateral triangle and so on. So see here, we have to find the perimeter. So see here, perimeter of equilateral triangle, perimeter of an equilateral triangle, whose side is 24 centimeters 24 centimeters is equal to so how much it is 24 plus 24 plus 24 just we have to add all the sides so it is 72 centimeters so next to length of the side of a second triangle length of the side side of the second equilateral triangle so the length of this second triangle will be half of the first triangle so length of the side half of the length of first one so that is 24 divided by 2 is 12 centimeter therefore perimeter of the second triangle is equal to perimeter of the second triangle so that is 12 plus 12 plus 12 so it is how much 36 centimeters so in the same way a length of the side of third triangle length of the uh, side of a third triangle so see here so this is a third one so the length of this side will be half of the second that is the second length is 12 so 12 divided by 2 is 6 12 divided by 2 which is 6 centimeters therefore perimeter of the third triangle perimeter of the 
third triangle is equal to so just we have to add all the sides 6 plus 6 plus 6 so here it is 18 centimeters so the list of perimeters therefore the list of perimeters the list of uh, perimeters equal to so first one 72 centimeters second one 36 centimeters third one 18 centimeters and so on so now we have the list of uh, uh, numbers uh, now we have to check whether it forms a uh, geometric progression or not by finding the common ratio so here common ratio r is equal to common ratio r is equal to a2 by a1 so here a2 is 36 a1 is 72 so 36 ones and 36 2 2 we can get a 1 by 2 so in the same way how to find a3 by a2 so r is equal to a3 by a2 so a3 value is 18 divided by a2 is 36 again 18 ones and 18 two so we can get 1 by 2 so therefore a2 by a1 is equal to a3 by a2 so here the common ratio is equal therefore it forms a gp it forms a gp it forms a geometric progression so student this is the third bit in the first question so he has given some situations he is asking to uh, find whether the given uh, whether the list of numbers involved in the given situation form an uh, form a geometric progression or not so student we have completed all the three bits in the first problem so next in the next class uh, we have to solve second problem that's all today's class student we will meet in the next class with another problem